and like, my best friend and I stopped being friends <laughs> after 10 years. How do I cope? Hey, Dance Moms enthusiasts, buckle up because we're about to spill the tea hotter than a perfectly executed pirouette. Welcome back to our Dance Moms universe where the drama never rests and the dance floor isn't the only place for jaw-dropping revelations. In today's sensational episode, we've got the inside scoop on the hottest gossip surrounding the all-new Dance Moms show that's been shaking up the dance world. From unexpected twists to jaw-dropping revelations about the cast, this is the dish you won't find anywhere else. Grab your dance shoes, get comfortable, and get ready to be in the know. We've got the latest buzz that's sending shockwaves through the dance community. So, without further ado, let's dive into the drama, spill the secrets, and dish out the details on the newest Dance Mom sensation. Buckle up, because this episode is not for the faint of heart. And in this episode, we're going to be commenting on a couple things, one of which being Christy Lukasiak hosting a new show on Dance Moms and some proof of that, as well as a kind of spoiler, I guess you could say, about Dance Moms and the new reunion and the new season of Dance Moms that's going to be on Lifetime, or is it? And we're also going to be talking about Maddie Ziegler herself, and that's because Maddie, Melissa, and Mackenzie finally got together on camera again. So a little bit of a Ziegler reunion for the Dance Moms reunion cast stars that didn't make it, but let's hop into it. So first we have Mackenzie Ziegler tried out ChatGPT and using AI for her video. What should I ask it? Do you think they would know our names? Yeah. Like should, <laughs> yeah. write a story, or can you? I'm gonna be nice, can you <laughs> write a story about Mackenzie and Maddie Ziegler and describe a girl? Oh. Matt, Mackenzie and Maddie Ziegler, two sisters from the vibrant city of Pittsburgh, shared a childhood filled with passion and dance. From a young age, their home echoed with the rhythm of music and the sound of dancing feet. Their parents, recognized, recognizing their daughter's natural talent, enrolled them in dance classes. What the fuck? As the years unfolded, Mackenzie and Maddie's bond strengthened on the dance floor. They attended the same classes, practiced routines together, and supported each other through every pirouette and leap. This is like, like awesome so, story. this is like a book. Someone over on Reddit writes, potential reunion air date and Christy hosting new Dance Moms show on Lifetime. I'm certainly interested, but that also goes with what I was hypothesizing. So let's check it out. While doing research regarding Dance Moms, I stumbled across this interview with Christy and Chloe from back in November. Christy states she believes the reunion special will air either in April or May, as well as states that she is the host of a brand new Lifetime show that will be announced around that same time. She didn't say what the show was, but hinted around saying it was Dance Moms adjacent. What do we all think of this? I've attached a copy of her direct statement regarding the above info, but also have linked the interview in its entirety. Direct statements from said interview. Yes, yeah, that's amazing. So about the show, there was there either just a reunion or is there one coming? Christy, they filmed, I wasn't there. So I'm involved in it, but I wasn't on set. I was filming my vampire episode that week. But yes, a lot of the original cast came back, they filmed a reunion that's going to air April or May, and I actually am hosting a new show for Lifetime as well that will be announced around that time too. Tell me about it, Christy. I can't really give away too much. Okay, but it's Dance Moms adjacent. One user on Reddit writes, has anyone noticed Maddie's personality change after cutting Abby off? This has probably been talked about before, but I noticed when she was on Dance Moms and even shortly after when she was still dancing at the ALDC, I thought she always seemed stiff and mature, which isn't a bad thing. To me, sometimes it felt like she was going over what she wanted to say quite a bit before she said it. I just saw her video with Melissa and Mackenzie, and now she seems very chill. I'm not sure if I'm just looking into it a bit too much, though. Who knows me best? Who knows me best? So I have to ask them what my favorite something is. Like, the first one is favorite color, and they have to write it down. <laughs> well, that's jealous. what I'm saying. Pink. <laughs> They're not going to be able to see it. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going. Can we go there for a family vacation? That's what I was hoping we, we could go. Our roots. Yes, because we want to get our, our roots. Our... Yeah, we're Italian. Oh, we're Italian. <laughs> and we can wow, get. Wow, I haven't heard that at all this week. That's no. our mom's favorite thing to talk She's about. Like we're Italian. Italian. If we're like okay, so here's my personal opinion because I feel like Maddie is in her comfort zone, especially with Melissa and Kenzie. Even if they're going to be filming, she's in her home. She's with her mom and her sister and I feel like Maddie is still very careful about how she speaks in public situations and when she's in interviews and stuff but I do feel like she was a lot more nervous back in the day because she did have Abby judging everything she did as well as everybody on the outside that was watching the show and commentating was looking at Maddie like waiting for her to fall from grace because Abby has touted her as being so perfect at absolutely everything that several years ago when Maddie was in the height of her fame, everybody was like looking for her to make a mistake, looking for somewhere, a crack in the flawless perfection that was Maddie Ziegler. So I feel like there was a lot of people scrutinizing her, but in the comments, it's somebody said, it seems that she's pretty relaxed and humble, maybe even a bit shy. Definitely not someone interested in sharing her personal life beyond work with the world. And I totally agree with that. Someone else says, I definitely think she's grown up, of course, but I don't really take her personality as chill. I more see it as very controlled, but that's obviously just my perception. If I grew up on a reality show, I'd probably be similarly reserved. Of course, I'm only going by what I see of her, which isn't that much. I get the sense in real life she can get giddy, silly, etc. Especially with Kenzie, which I love. And there you have it, dance enthusiasts. The sizzling, unfiltered gossip straight from the heart of the dance floor. We hope you enjoyed this roller coaster ride through the highs, lows, and jaw dropping revelations of the all new Dance Moms show slash shows. But hey, the drama doesn't end here. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more exclusive updates, behind the scenes insights, and juicy tidbits from the world of Dance Moms. The dance floor may have seen its final pose for today, but the drama is never ending encore. Also, if you haven't checked out my new channel, Dancing With My Van, where I've been vlogging my van life adventures, make sure to check that out in the pinned comment. So don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your take on the latest revelations, and who's got you on the edge of your seat? As we twirl away from this episode, keep dancing, stay fabulous, and brace yourself for the next dance-tastic rendezvous. Until next time, dance lovers, keep the rhythm alive, keep the drama thrilling, and we'll catch you in the next electrifying episode. We are bodies electric. And as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. Bye, guys. If I was in school, yeah, like, I would use this. I would write an essay on something. Thousand on, like, What should we do it on? Um, I don't know. You could do it for our economic decline. Oh, I, I'm afraid I can't generate a full five-page essay in this chat format. However, I can help you outline key points.